Hi, welcome to my channel and welcome to this new year 2021. So since it's a new year, along with lots of other people, I decided I need to get back to eating a little healthier than I did in December. And I also need to use up what I have in the refrigerator before I go and buy groceries. So here I found this sad looking chunk of cabbage, the last of the celery, a couple of tomatoes, I have onion and garlic, and I had a big bag of carrots, so, but I'm just going to use three. And I also have one green bell pepper left. So with these ingredients, I decided to make cabbage soup. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure I wash and cut up all my vegetables. So first is I'm going to use a whole onion diced up. Be sure and watch the rest of the video so that you can see the spices and the other ingredients I also add in. And also let me know in the comments below what kind of meals you guys like to eat when you're trying to be healthy for the new year. Lately, I've been using smoothies so that I could get in more vegetables and fruit into my diet. I think the hardest meal for me to get healthy is breakfast because I just like eating the same meals over and over like eggs or omelets or oatmeal and even cereal. Next, I'm gonna use three chopped up carrots. Now I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of avocado oil to my pot and go ahead and throw in the onions. While the onions are sautéing, I'm going to go ahead and chop up the rest of the vegetables and add them in as I finish chopping them. So I finished slicing the carrots, so now I'm going to add those in since they take longer to cook than the other vegetables. I'm adding in the vegetables that take longer to cook first. That way they have time to cook while I add in the rest. Now I'm going to let those saute and soften up while I dice up the rest. This is the celery I had left. This is about three stalks. I'm going to go ahead and Chop those up with the leaves and all. I place in the celery and give it a stir. Next is one diced bell pepper. If you have red bell pepper, that's even better because they have more nutrients. Have you guys ever tried the cabbage soup diet? If you have, let me know how it went. I'm curious about that one.
three diced up tomatoes. At this point I felt like the soup needed something a little more heartier so I looked through my pantry and I found these split yellow peas I went ahead and rinsed those and added half a cup to the pot I'm also adding in about a head of garlic And finally, the cabbage that I had. Now it's time to add the liquid. I didn't have any chicken broth or bone broth, so I just added water. I used eight cups, but you could always add a little bit more. Found some ginger and decided to throw that in also. Of course it's washed and peeled. I add in some black pepper. Also added about a tablespoon of turmeric. This is what it looks like after 15 minutes of simmering. point I still felt like the soup needed to be heartier so I was looking in my pantry for some garbanzo beans or some great northern beans I didn't have any so I opted to use this corn the corn like every other ingredient is optional I felt like I added a little bit too much so probably half a can would have been better at this point you could add in whatever herbs you have on hand you could add in oregano, parsley, cilantro. Those would all be good options. And then also after you serve it, you could add lemon. So once the split peas are done, and the vegetables are as soft or as firm as you like them, uh, the soup is ready to enjoy. Mm -hmm. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you want to see more of the healthy meals I'll be eating this month. Thanks for watching.